comes back in 30 days for the pedicure or uh, for massage or whatever. So it automates the entire process of making sure consumers uh, are managed by each of the salons and spas very effectively. So it's very business friendly. It ensures that if somebody went to a certain spa, when they open the app, the first thing it will show is the next massage appointment available at that spa right now kind of stuff. So because the assumption is it's not just trying to be next to the business, the assumption is the likelihood is very high. The customer is about to book yet again a massage at the place or yet again a head at a particular place. So it keeps in track what the customer is doing and then drives the behavior based on that. So that's a brand new thing. It adds to the overall. In order to do something like Take 5, which was always a bad to reach a, reach a certain point, to have a certain number of customers making a certain appointment. We're in a position where we stand on the street in Mumbai or Hyderabad or some of the other places. We still have a decent Yeah. Oh, the other thing is in your kids, one of the other things, first time we are releasing, which is unique to our industry, there's a conclusion of a benchmark uh, analysis we have done, which is available, which says, Benchmark analysis is things like very interesting data, which is since managed, uh, since Zenoji is used by so many people, uh, all the data is in our servers. So we can run a report which says what the average is in India, how are the numbers for consumers in India, etc. So what we have is some interesting findings like, uh, you know, women typically spend more than men on salon services, which is fairly normal. People just in the industry know that. But what people don't know is that our data shows that in the top 10% of spenders, men spend as much as women, you know. And in fact, in some categories, in the very luxury category, men outspend women, you know, on the very top tier, right? So it's like, a, you know, people think it's only women spend on pedicures, manicures, self-grooming, etc. So some of the data we released recently as part of our benchmark analysis, and this is based on real data. It's not us trying to second guess what the market is doing and all that. And similarly, what we find is that uh, average, uh, when you take median points for the industry and say, what is the average invoice size or ticket size for a customer, for a salon when they, when they reach customers, or what is the average sales that they do every month, the median is almost half of what the top performers are. Right? The top 10 percentile delivers performance which is twice of what the median delivers. Kind of stuff. So which means, that uh, those people who are doing well are doing an amazingly uh, good job in this weekend. So we have given some of these conclusions uh, in your uh, analysis of the benchmarks here. So it's an industry first for us to report on this. And uh, going into next year, you're going to see us deliver a very comprehensive, detailed uh, uh, capability around benchmark for this industry. So it's meant to help the industry because uh, they can compare, each salon can say, how am I doing it in this health so that's what I had. So uh, I think uh, you know, these are the three major things, but take five being the biggest uh, thing in terms of a consumer uh, aspect of it. And we have, it's a take five global thing. It's being launched in India, but it will effectively immediately be rolled out to other parts of the world. Uh, the team that drives take five is uh, primarily based on the US. Uh, so it will be launched in the US as well, because uh, we do have a significant set of customers in the US uh, as well. And, uh, but it was, we started, it, we, its first launch is in Hyderabad and Mumbai, and within the next few months, it will go to all the major metros. Great. So, I guess we can take any questions or anything after this, or? Yeah. That's what I do. Can you say something about which, you know, very basic thing about this? What is the advantage of this particular app or software you made? The advantages is primarily the advantages of such an app is primarily very simple. It's like it's about making the consumer's experience effortless. Like what does Expedia do? What does Big Basket do? What does Book My Show do? They're just making your life easy. You have to call this hotel, call the event place, get an appointment, do all this work. It takes 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and the consumer gets hassled. So the consumer is instantaneous uh, experience, right? Second is it should help the industry also because we're able to deliver appointments to spa. Let's say I have half an hour free. I'm in between meetings and all that. It would be great to know that there's a foot massage I can get right next to me. I'm willing to pay. But today, even finding whether there is a 30-minute quick thing that I can go do somewhere is not available for me. So such solutions should help uh, even the businesses to grow by driving more customers to the business and making the experience for consumers to be more effortless.
it's very hard to figure that out today. You have to call, you have to check, or you have to walk in and wait for the guy. So take five will solve that problem for you. You don't have to wait when you're going. You'll know when he's available and you can go in and get your appointment and leave and you can pay ahead of time and not worry about it then and there. That's one. Second is that we do believe, uh, unlike, let's say, a restaurant or a hotel room, you know, your ratings are important. In how you pick a restaurant like Zomato and all these helping you figure out which restaurants are good and you can go. Now when it comes to my body and somebody's going to actually treat my skin, my, give me a massage or get a haircut, it's even more so important that I better know who this person is and I'm going to let them do this, right, kind of stuff, compared to I'm just going into a hotel and staying or eating at the table at a restaurant. So uh, we think customer, other customer experiences are even more important for me to learn about as a consumer before I commit to a business. And that's where Take 5 will do a great job of because every time like, you know, you finish a service like in Uber or something, it would ask the consumer to rate. And so it will be able to give you ratings and uh, actual reviews by customers and it will reward customers who actually give reviews so that there's more and more reviews in the system. And we do think the number one way based on our understanding of the industry, when you ask, why do you choose to go to a particular place for a, a, a hair treatment or a thing? It's actually based on saying your colleague or somebody, you look at them and you realize, wow, that's a beautiful hair today or beautiful style. Where do you get it done? Oh, I went to JCB or B Blunt or whatever, right? So they say, okay, man, I should also go check it out. And then I may go to the next step. Who at B Blunt? Who was the person at JCB, right? And ask for the same person. That's the nature of the business. So take five makes it very easy. So yeah. uh, what payment options are available? And do you have any plan to get a wallet system? Yeah, right now we're going with uh, the credit card based payment system, that's what we use, but uh, we look at integrating with wallet solutions as well, uh, we are evaluating. I know there are multiple wallets out there in the market, uh, but right now it will do, uh, integrates with uh, credit card payment and uh, stores credit card on file and so that the customer doesn't need to keep giving the same card every time and stuff. And it does a job of all your, you know, there's the one time password stuff and all, we solve that problem because we use someone called Just Pay, which makes it very easy for us to do the one time password integration. So, so that's a launch attachment, how many spas we have We have probably around, uh, right, spas and salons across these two metros and close to maybe like more. Like how many spas and salons Yeah, they'll be able to see about four, five hundred of them. But they'll only see what's in their area. See, there's a way to select first it. It's an instant app. You open the app, it instantly shows you what's around you. And then two clicks, you are done with your appointment. You know, it's not like it's going to make you do a lot of laborious stuff. But if you said, no, 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 I wasn't looking for here. Evening, I'm going to be in Bandra and want an appointment in Bandra. Then you can choose Bandra's area and evening time, and then it will show you what's available there. But by default, it assumes, just like Uber, when you open the app, you want an appointment around you, and I'm going to show you the what are the options. So our goal is, as long as we deliver enough options around them that they can pick from, that's a meaningful impact we're having for the consumer. So thank you. I'm here in this um, Sarita, who's our video marketing. She's also one of the founders. Both of us are around here for you if you have any questions. Thanks, Thank you.